this three quarter inch cotton rope I bought down at Tractor Supply. What I was looking for was something thick and heavy that I could pull on and I don't have to worry about them burning or anything. I just took it, doubled it back, made me a, a loop at the end here. Is I'll unwind this and then I'll braid it back. But before I unwind it too far, this is tape I got handy right now, but I just taped up the ends. The one I have, I've been using the same one now for seven years. I haven't had a reason to make another one. It's lasted that long. So now I have six strands here. So I'm just gonna braid those six strands back together. I'm not gonna braid a six stick, six, geez, I can't talk. I'm not gonna braid it six strands. I'm gonna braid three strands, but I'm just gonna put two, two, and two. Try to keep them separate. I want it to be braided flat. I'll just braid this up, put a little tension on it so the braid's nice and tight. I think when I had the longer rope, I tied it to a wall. Running out of length in my legs here. So when I get to the end here, I just tie a knot in it. That makes a nice heavy rope that you run this back through and say you want to hook it on a leg or you want to hook it around their cinch area. You see how thick that is and how heavy it is. This piece here, just as a reference, it was only 10 feet to begin with. Since we doubled it and braided it, obviously it's gonna shorten. So it's only, only made about four foot. When you start off, if you want something long, like I wanted it pretty long, I think I started off with somewhere around 50 foot of rope total. I use it every single time. I don't know where I can go and buy something like this.